All right, folks. Maybe you can see through the cage here. But the wife fell in love with two baby chickens. She bought two Polish, we think they're hens, so we hope they're hens. The girl said that 90% chance they will be. So two Polish hens, $15 each. We, they look feathered out enough that we think that they're going to be able to do fine out here tonight. It shouldn't go below 70 tonight. And I'll build them something. But this is the greenhouse, chicken brooder, chicken pen, chicken, you name it. We use it for this and that and everything. Got some food and water in here. Another hanging water. They've already jumped up to the first shelves. And then they put in a par for them tonight if they want to get up there. And I'll build another small box shelter for them to have a little bit of a coop. But they're just sitting here eating grass, pecking away, chirping away. We hope they're going to do well. Other than that, we've got the plants that we've put in the ground, the zinnias. They're blooming. This is a tomato plant that was a lost cause. You can see how much of the vine is dead, but it's taking off. Might do something. I had another one back under here somewhere. I don't think that one could possibly have survived. I don't see it, so I'm going to assume it didn't. Well, I see it, but it's just so stunted it's not doing anything. Anyway, folks, this is Bill from Little White Dory. Walking around showing you some of the silliness. We've got things growing out of things that we didn't know we would have. And check this out. We're going to get some good grapes this year. We pruned, and man, there's just tons and tons of grapes. I hope this is coming out. I can only really barely see it. Look at this up here. This is just amazing. All of these grapes. Hopefully we'll get to eat a lot of them and share some with the birds. The chickens love them, so I hope to get a bunch for the chickens. Oh man, look at this. I sure hope this is showing up in the, in the video. So let's see, folks. We're in the process of clearing off the uh, patio. I have a sun shade that we're going to put up. Maybe by the end of the weekend we'll have that in place. Um, so two new chickens. We uh, are still pulling strawberries out of our strawberry plants. And we're starting conceptualizing a smaller selling wagon. Not so much as this but what this will be. For those of you who watch Lumna Acres or Al Lumna, this is a frame he used to build his uh, portable pult uh, portable chicken coops, I think, and, and portable pig pen, and just as a wagon. We've got some stainless steel stuff stacked up here. We're going to try to send this, make this trailer into a, I don't want to say food vending, but um, certainly a food serving trailer. Because I don't know how I'm going to work with it. If it's going to be something I'd actually get into vending, or if I would just use it for uh, rentals to people as if they need to have a portable food serving platform. Of course, this thing here is the front end of a missile that we bought and, you know, it was dis disarmored, uh, dearmored. No, it's not. It's just a dog igloo flipped up on its side. I just get a kick out of it because I think it looks much, much cooler. Whoops, as it spins around crazy. It looks much, much cooler. Like that, then that. But you can imagine that that means we're looking for a dog. We'd like to hopefully get something that's, uh, I don't know, no more than like 35 to 40 pounds. As I walk around, you notice a few things, like for instance, there's no more tomato plants. There's none. None here on the floor, none here behind the house. All we have is what's at the end of the driveway right now. And I apologize for the jumpiness. This is my old camera and it doesn't have the same steady cam kind of stuff that the new one does. But as I walk out, this is where I got my exercise and lost 35 pounds this spring. But as I come out, this is where we're at. We've got this little setup. I'll walk around it, you can see the other side. But there we have a few signs. One that says, We have hot and sweet peppers. Another one says, Grow your food. 50% off was the first discount, and now it's uh, three for five dollars. And they're not selling much, but they got rained on heavily, so they got to take a beating. But we've still got 
I don't know, I'm going to guess between the large and the small, maybe 200 more tomato plants. Uh, I'll say maybe one, two, three, four, maybe five, six, seven, eight, probably nine or ten at most types of peppers, uh, tomatoes, and then a couple of different types of peppers. We have some red serranos. These are one black crim left, some Rebecca Allens I still have, the big reds, got a few of them. Orange habaneros, they're, they're actually doing okay, they're just not growing real big because they're sitting in these little cups. Garden leaders, um, got another, one more Thorburn's terracotta. Not in the greatest shape, but it'll do. Somebody will be happy. These guys don't look too bad. It's a matter of they got hammered with rain and now they're getting cooked in the sun. I don't really have a shade cloth, which I did, but putting a shade cloth up would make it look like I'm not open, so it's kind of a catch-22. But you can see we've got some big budget marketing and advertising expenses here, advertising sweet and hot peppers. We've got names on the tags here. Of course, we have some of them done in a little bit more of an artistic manner. We had a woofer here that was creative. And we've got the American flag. Let's see if I come around this way so it's not so into the sun. But there's our 4th of July flag. Everybody, happy 4th of July. For all of you that uh, find today to be a day worth celebrating, please consider my uh, thoughts of congratulations and enjoy the day. It's a nice holiday. And the weather here in New York is perfect. Probably, let's see, I'll go take a look. We, we have things going on in the front here. Of course, the gladiolars are now popping. These are pretty cool. You can see the colors of these right here. And my wife says she thinks they're going to be, like, black. So these are the orange ones. They're kind of cool. A couple of lilies still floating around. Gladiolas. They're really going to be exploding here soon. Some purple ones. I, hope, I guess it's purple. That's what they must be. These things are kind of cool. I have to say, they are, uh, it's like my favorite flower just because they, they open up as they head toward the top. So that's what we have going on here. We have some stuff going on in the gardens over there. Oh, it looks like the grass is coming back. We had a problem with one of the sprinklers and I realized it when I was getting a brown spot. So we got stuff growing on in here. I'm going to show you a few things. I had extra stuff so I decided to start putting things in the ground. And let's see, I've got a tomato plant. This, oops, am I pointing in the right direction? Yeah, there we go. Um, tomato plant over here, and then a sage bush. So hopefully that will grow. Around this side, another sage. Again, just sort of stuck it in the ground so it would work. Yeah, that's a finger cut. <laughs> um, put some zinnias in, because the zinnias seem to do well. And what else do we have? The one lone pepper there. Another tomato. Another tomato down there. And let's see, we put in zinnias and was watering them every day, but now I've backed off on that and Mother Nature's been doing a good job. Yeah, so we've got um, some zinnias and we have a ground cherry. More zinnias. Another ground cherry. Ground cherry zinnias. Unfortunately, these hedges are not well taken care of. Um, yeah, it's just the way it is. Something's eating away at that, that one plant. We got a purple um, basil, more ground cherries, and zinnias. And the zinnias, for those of you who are wondering if you don't know what they look like, these are zinnias. And they're just freaking crazy happy flowers, man. Look at this. The colors are amazing. You know, everything from whites to pinks. See the next one that's going to pop open. It's purples. This orange. Where's the orange? There it is. It's just incredible. You see them starting out like that. They're amazing. They're just uh, happy, cheerful plants. This is why I chose them for being the flower that I want to plant to try to sell. There's another one right here next to some nasturtium. Next to some slow bolt cilantro, another tomato plant. There's a lily back there, rose, some more basil. 
some tomato plant that hasn't done anything another tomato plant things are doing good here though but down to just what's on the trailer there from uh, tomato plant sales I was looking at my paperwork and my best guess is that I started out with about 4,000 starts maybe 4,200 hello honey um, Didn't think so. mm, mm, no. Um, so we're gonna get back to this. Don't know where the watering can was. Is <laughs> there's a chicken? <laughs> you know, I always take, I always get a kick out of this. But for those who don't know what it looks like when a chicken takes a bath, there's Buffy doing her best, and it's just a matter of they just kind of roll and kick. Oops, there she is. Roll and kick and fluff their hair and fluff their feathers. She's going through a bit of a molt. And I'm going to put her in tonight maybe with the other chickens, the new babies, because she's very docile. The buff morphing thing, which is known for being such a docile bird. All right, Buffy, you enjoy that. Got all the tomato plants here. I haven't spent the time pruning them, but I'm going to have to get here in the next day or so. Got some carrots coming up. More tomatoes, more tomatoes, more tomatoes. Asinia. Again, tomatoes is coming. They're doing well. I have to get in there and tie them up. We've got some stuff on the ground here doing well. Um, these are some squash and cucumbers. Some roses. The wife did some cutting back. We've got more of these ground cherries. We're going to let them grow because the chickens do eat them. So what the heck. I don't mind if they become too invasive because the chickens will keep working on it. We've got a nice big volunteer tomato plant couple of them around the back here and these um, lilies come back every year hey chickens let me just see if I can give them a little freshener on the water yeah well, stop being such messy chickens Oops. There we go. That's just a quick dump and they get some fresh water. I give them plenty of places for water, but more weeds over here. But we do have some squashes and stuff. I've got to get in here and get to them. Ooh, I didn't realize this was catching up. Wow. I got to get that with the, the weeder. It's really taking over. Holy cow. This is really something. Just these past couple of days with the rain that we've had, the chickens would have a field day in here. But you can see I've got some of the squash and cucumbers growing in here, 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 maybe not here, here. And if I get there, I can get the vines cut back on the grapes. There's probably tons of grapes in here, although I saw so many up front. Hey, I see them here too. And this is a plum tree that uh, is not bearing fruits yet. This is the third summer we have it, so hopefully next year. Still got weeds to pull. Got to clean up this whole area. It's getting crazy. The weeds in the back there are overnight. They grew like crazy. And, you know, back around to the front. This is it, folks. That's the homestead in 13, let's see, that is in 13 and a half minutes. We hope you're having a good time wherever you are. We're going to go figure out how much it costs us to make our 13 pounds of bacon. Bye-bye.